Now with our GMA cover story, more on President Trump's COVID diagnosis and the first family. Firstly, Melania Trump also infected. Their son, Barron, has tested negative. Kira Phillips joins us from Washington with the details. Good morning, Kira. Good morning, George. Talk about a drastic difference between the president and his wife. While Trump undergoes aggressive therapy at Walter Reed, the 50-year-old first lady, according to sources close to her, is resting at home and doing well this morning. This morning, as President Trump continues his treatment at Walter Reed Medical Center. He has remained without fever since Friday morning. His vital signs are stable. Updates on the first family back in the White House. Melania Trump tweeting Friday morning that she was experiencing mild symptoms of coronavirus after testing positive alongside President Trump. The first couple's son, 14-year-old Barron, testing negative for coronavirus. The youngest Trump said to be quarantining away from his mother at the White House. The First Lady's chief of staff telling ABC News that all precautions are being taken to ensure he's kept safe and healthy. All this as it's revealed two White House residents staff members testing positive for COVID a few weeks ago. A source confirming they didn't come into contact with the President and First Lady and the White House has extensive plans and procedures in place to prevent further spread. I Just wear masks when needed. When needed, I wear masks. The other Trump children who were seen in the audience at last week's debate without masks have all tested negative and have taken to social media to support their father as he recovers. Eric Trump tweeting he will fight through this and Ivanka Trump sharing this photo of her father working at Walter Reed saying nothing can stop him from working for the American people. Relentless. And George, as the president and first lady continue to recover, I can tell you it will be members of the first family like Don Jr. and Eric Trump hitting the campaign trail, filling that Trump void, executing what they're calling Operation MAGA, where you will likely see them in key battleground states as we head into the final stretch before Election Day, George. Okay, Kira, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.